praise God you're welcome back and um, we have been talking about sex this is the anatomy of sex this is the third installment in these videos and I trust the Holy Spirit that you will have something definitely beneficial to take away from this now I started out in the last installment by talking about managing your sexuality i like to continue on that right now now what do you do when you are sexually aroused or when you are tempted when you are tempted sexually and you are not married or you are far away from your spouse the number one thing i always advise is define your limits define your own limits understand the limitations of your sexuality don't play with fire we have said it before sex sure love is a fire don't waken it if you know you can't carry fire in your bosom and not be burnt every kind of sin in the bible you are encouraged to resist but when it comes to fornication sexual sin the bible says in second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 he said flee run for your life you are not strong enough to resist sexual sin so i want to encourage you when all else fails run as a preacher of the gospel i i travel a lot i pray from place to place i i'm 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 away from home on quite a number of instances and what i always do is i define my limits you know the extent you can go I want to encourage you if you know when you are away when you are away from home maybe on business duties and you are you are you you know yourself you understand your body chemistry you know how your body works i want to encourage you don't play with fire understand the limitations of your sexuality don't go around when your spouse if you're married when your spouse is not there you go expose yourself to things that will that will cause you to burn unnecessarily run run like joseph ran when he was with potiphar's wife he left his coat behind and, and ran for his life i want to encourage you define your limits don't test don't test the boundaries don't test the boundaries define your limits you're single maybe you are cutting someone you are planning to get married don't stay in private places sex needs privacy to be to be executed define your limits define your limits define your limits know beforehand what you can allow what you will not allow define your limits that's the first thing i'll say secondly i want to encourage you the moment you feel you are under pressure sexually engage in other activities diffuse the tension you see sexual energy is still energy if you find something else to 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 put to take it away to take the energy away find it engage in it engage in other activities if you are dating someone when i'm when i was cutting my wife when we we're dating we engage in other activities not all every time playing together praying together not every time studying the bible there are times we go we play you know there are times we go we watch a movie there are times okay there, there were movies that time you know while i was on campus we used to go and watch stage drama in the theater arts department you know so i, I want to encourage you find something to do preferably an activity that involve other people engage in other activities number three have enough self-respect to say no when you are under sexual pressure have enough self-respect to tell yourself no and to tell the other person no the object of your sexual fantasy no the person that is pressuring you no number four i also say have the dignity to respect the other person's no if you are the one pressuring the other person have the respect for the other person's no no is no even if the person is consenting have the enough self-respect to say no to it if you are dating a partner that does not value or respect your body enough 
if you are single hear me if you are dating someone that does not value or respect you enough does not value your body that when you say no i encourage you ditch him your destiny is not tied to one singular married uh, married partner if he's always constantly pressuring you if he's the man or is the woman ditch that person your destiny is not safe our world today is filled with you know with a lot of abuse and misuse of sex you know the most common is 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 fornication that's 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 sex before marriage and then you have you have adultery that's sex outside of your marriage bed extramarital sex then you have incest that's sex with a close blood relation and I hope you know in the scriptural records, it attracts a curse. Homosexuality is there, you know. Sex with a person of the same gender. I'm not going into all the full details right now, but I'm just saying you need to be aware of this. And then maybe you engage in masturbation, personal sexual stimulation. Of course, I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this. But I'll tell you something. You may say it's harmless. It hurts nobody. But it's selfish. Sex was not designed to bring you pleasure alone, but to pleasure your spouse. So when you begin to indulge in masturbation, it can actually, in the long run, begin to affect your capability to enjoy mutual sex with your marriage partner don't indulge in it because when you begin to indulge in it eventually you will begin to engage in unwholesome activities where sex is concerned and then lastly the abuse of sex is rape that's sex without the other person's consent forced sex it's it's pitiable we see a lot of things in our world but i want to encourage you you will not be part of the statistics and if you have been part of it i am trusting the holy spirit that the lord will help you you know of course premarital or extramarital sex does not come without its consequences i will just itemize some number one you can uh, you, you premarital sex has been known from my walk with young people i have come to find out that premarital sex breeds emotional emotional immaturity emotionally and psychologically immature adults when people begin to have sex it begins to you know change rewire their mind because it releases endorphins and some hormones it can begin to affect the way you think about a lot of things that's why some people have not been able to detach themselves from abusive relationships because they have started indulging in sex so their their sense of judgment has become impaired it also premarital sex also makes it difficult for you to develop real trust in marriage you know once you violate the trust of your partner it becomes very hard you know it becomes very hard for you to 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 trust the other party also when you begin to indulge in sex before marriage, even if it is with the person you you said you are going to marry, it begins to cloud your judgment on marital compatibility. It begins to blind you because you are enjoying it. You begin to close your eyes to some other wrong things that you know in the long run will sabotage your happiness if you eventually consummate that marriage. And of course, we all know it can lead to unwanted pregnancies and abortion if you engage in premarital sex it can leave a woman wounded if it does not lead to marriage you know sex is not just sex i have said that before it it it, it brings alongside with it emotional bonding and once you are emotionally bonded with someone it becomes very hard at times to disconnect the soul tie that you have and of course the risk of sexually transmitted infections and diseases is also there it stunts your character development too. 
and it can affect your future sexual fulfillment one of the beautiful things about getting married as a virgin you know of course if you have had previous sexual experiences jesus christ can give you a brand new day but the truth of the matter is that when you have had multiple sexual partners it can affect your future sexual fulfillment because in your mind you begin to play it up you begin to compare your spouse your husband or your wife to the previous sexual partners you have and if they have been nasty experiences it can result in frigidity now what is the conclusion of this whole matter that i'm saying today i am saying that if you have found yourself in situations that are not wholesome there is a way out there is a bomb in gilead if you are falling into sexual sins there is forgiveness there is forgiveness there is forgiveness jesus christ can give you a brand new day jesus christ can give you a brand new day uh today i'm going to pray with you there is victory if you are addicted to sexual sins there is healing if you have been a victim of any form of sexual abuse if you are struggling with pornography there is victory for you in the name of jesus and i'm just going to take this moment i'm going to pray with you wherever you're watching this video you can just you know touch your phone or touch your screen or whatever Whatever it is and stand in agreement with me I'm going to pray for you that God will give you a way out father I'm praying for the person listening to me right now Lord perhaps they have been involved in sexual sin in sexual malpractices Lord way before now I am asking you in the name of Jesus and they sincerely want a way out some have been bound by masturbation some have been bound to pornography I pray for you in the name of Jesus that burden is lifted off your life right now in the name of Jesus if there is someone here who have been a victim of rape who have been a victim of incest of sexual molestation of any sort I have pray right now let the healing virtue of the Holy Spirit flow right now into that life if there is a bondage there have been an infestation of demons there have been an infestation of harm the enemy has used that as a leeway to enter this person's life I speak forth a word of healing I speak for the word of deliverance and i decree in the name of jesus you are free right now in the name of jesus the son of god sets you free and you are free indeed in the name of jesus i believe that everyone listening to me right now i pray for you your marriage will be sweet for those who are married and they are struggling in the area of sex may illumination come to you may the help of god arise for you in that in that in that department in the name of jesus you will enjoy your marriage you will not enjoy it is well with you i say peace be to you in jesus name